Hello and welcome to another exciting, amazing and perfect edition of Top Hat Chat where we never make any mistakes and everything always goes perfectly with myself, Street, and the Top Hat Gaming Man. Yes, the Top Hat Gaming Man indeed. Uh, so, yeah, today uh, I've got to pick a topic. You have, I've given you the opportunity. Thank you so much. Um, so the topic that I've chosen to talk about um, is uh, Games Done Quick. What's that? The GDQ event that happens twice a year. Which is what? Um, it's a charity speedrun event that is hosted on Twitch by a massive group of people now. Oh, charity, um, a tax dodge. <laughs> kind of, kind of. But it's, um, it's an event that I watch and I've been watching for a few years and I've been trying to keep up to date on and I've been seeing everything that's been going on with it um, this week. This whole week has been a GDQ week. And um, I really enjoy it. Good. And there are many, many reasons why. Uh, I will start to discuss them and you will start to tear them apart and tell me why I'm wrong. Probably. Yeah. Um, so, the idea of the event is to raise money for a specific charity. Um, started quite a few years ago uh, in somebody's basement, essentially. Well, charity does begin at home. That's Most... what I say. Donate to us on Patreon. <laughs> nice. Nice plug. Thank you. Um, and it's got... Bigger and bigger and bigger. The, the, there was an event a few years ago, or a couple of years ago, um, where they actually raised, managed to raise well over $2 million for um, the charity that's chosen. The charity and I assume most of that money probably was just spent on admin fees. Well, that is, that's one of the controversies that goes along with... Controversy, that's an Americanism. My apologies. Um, that goes along with Games Done Quick. and. They're talking about the amount of money that they raise compared to the amount of money that actually goes to the charity. Oh, is this actually? I, I was listening. This is a, no, this is a legitimate contrast that people are moaning about because obviously um, you do have overhead to take care of, and as the event, overheads, yeah, and as the event gets bigger and bigger and bigger, they need to rent halls and lots of tech equipment. A lot of it gets donated, which is nice, and obviously, uh, you know, and people, you know, need to do something to keep this thing going. I suppose. Um, and the event goes on for a full week, 20, you know, 24 seven um, over the period of a week. And um, yeah, they basically have loads and loads of speedrunners from all around the world come together and play a game really fast. Okay. They have two events a year. Um, one is usually around the winter period, which is AGDQ. So I assume these must be really crap games if they want to play them as fast as possible. They're all different games. Everything you could possibly imagine. I'll start talking about... But why would you want to play a good that? game really fast? Surely you want to pleasure with it slowly. Do you know what I mean? They do interviews during these games and a lot of these people played the game casually. And once you play a game casually four or five times, especially if it's quite a long game, um, you do start to get bored of it. And you start to find new things. I mean, did you never get pleasure in playing, I don't know, maybe one of the Mario games and trying to beat it as quickly as possible? Like trying no. To, trying to beat the whole game in a day. <laughs> No. And just trying to get really, really good at it. I think if you want a really succulent gaming experience, then you need to um, take your time and enjoy playing it quick. No, that's, that's not fun for me. Yeah. Um, for me, See, again, I, I really enjoy it. And one of the things that I like about the event is the fact that there are loads and loads of different games across a multitude of platforms. Um, and they get showcased at yeah. this event. Everyone loves cultural diversity. Yeah. It's a good thing. So I sit there and I have it on in the background, like most of the week. Um, and every so often there'll be a game that I've never heard of pop up in the background. I'll be like, oh, actually, I'll sit down and watch this. And you get a really brief overview of the game. You get to think, well, actually, may I order um, I suppose was... that's good for the viewer, because if it's done quite quickly, they can move on quickly and you can look at something else. I suppose for the viewer, I can see an appeal there somewhat. Yeah. But for the gamer, I wouldn't enjoy that personally. Yeah. I, I can I can see I, I can see because I point. assume to get it's an odd one because you, it's not fun to play for a game quick, but at the same time, in order to play for a game quick, you've got to play it forever to and get good at it, it very well. But then you'd be bored of the game as well, so it's like yeah. I mean, what? they have all different kinds of rules in their games as well. So um, in each different speed run, there might be like an any percent run where you just get from start to finish as quickly as possible. They do glitchless runs, so you can't exploit any glitches. They do glitched runs, so you can exploit the I actually know something about this as well, and isn't it with a lot of speed runs, um, they have leaderboards for whether it's on the original hardware or an emulated version as well. There can be on yeah. certain things. Um, I mean, for example, they're doing the last of uh, this um, SGDQ this week, the last run that they're doing is a Final Fantasy VI run. Um, over the period of about six hours or something. I mean, seeing Final Fantasy VI completed in six hours is ridiculous. 
is it that's possible? It is, but well, they're going to do it. Okay. It's, it's six or seven hours. It's a, it's a, it's a long speedrun, but it's interesting. Final Fantasy X speedruns are a ridiculous amount of hours. Ha 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 ha. I don't understand. It was Final Fantasy X quite. Oh yeah, no it was. I do understand that now. Yeah. That's the best part of the whole game. It was, wasn't it? Um, I liked as well, so this goes off subject, okay, okay. it's worth talking about because um, we brought up the ha 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 bit in Final Fantasy X. Okay. I saw a video online of the voice actor for um, Tidus, mm -hmm. America's calling him Tidus apparently, but we're okay. calling him Tidus. Um, yeah, the voice actor for Tidus get, getting a bit triggered over that scene because everyone said, <laughs> everyone always goes on about how that scene um, was really like cringy and it awkward. was supposed to be yeah, yeah yeah it was and that's yeah. why that's why he was triggered saying it's supposed to be awkward and people yeah. Was, yeah. yeah people said it's just bad voice acting he was like no that's what it was supposed to be yeah is that, i thought that's that's how it came across to me when i played it yeah, yeah. um so yeah i mean gdq events they get to showcase a lot of games you get a lot of um speed runners and twitch streamers all together in one place and they get a bit of publicity out of it as well um you get great characters because they obviously have to talk through their runs all the time um Again, some big streamers that I really enjoy. Uh, Covert Muffin always makes me laugh. Um, Spike Vegeta, he's, he runs um, a lot of the commentary and stuff in different areas. Um, Carl Sagan 42, um, Grand Pooh Bear, uh, Jakku, all of those guys. They're really entertaining characters and really entertaining people to watch. Are they really doing it to raise money or are they just doing it to get more exposure and make themselves look good? Well, it's a bit of both. I mean, the two charities that they've been doing recently have been the Prevent Cancer Foundation which is an American organization, which um, is to do with the early detection of cancer rather than actual treatment. Again, there's been a controversy surrounding that over the, yeah, uh, over the past few years, um, saying, well, actually, it's not one of the most useful ones. Um, and also how much money goes directly to actually preventing cancer rather than people taking the money and it goes to executives and stuff like that. But just as the event goes, you know, it's, it's a good event. Um, and uh, the other one is um, Doctors Without Borders, which is an international um, charity that goes to countries and gives medical care where people don't necessarily have any. They should start a charity, um, Borders Without Doctors, looking about Somalia. <laughs> Would that be a good idea? Yeah, I don't think many people get behind it. Mm. We do what? We just give the give the country money. Borders without doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Was it doctors without borders? Yeah. So the doctors go. What, what would borders without doctors actually be? Then? I don't know. Borders without doctors. Borders without doctors. Why would you want a doctor on the border? <laughs> Ebola. That's Stop true. the spread of Ebola. If there were doctors on all the borders, yeah, they'd be like, mm, looks like you might have Ebola. We better, yeah, yeah. Go back in. Is that how it works? What, Doctors Without Borders or Borders Without Doctors? Borders Without Doctors, yeah. Then maybe, yeah, you know, this promote, promoting the spread of Ebola. Yeah, let them all out. Yeah. And go anywhere they want. Um, yeah, so I mean, the event's really cool. It gets to showcase some games that you'd possibly never heard of, um, ranging from current indie games to, I was watching Turbo Graphics runs, um, uh, SNES games, NES games. Um, there was a game I watched just before we recorded this, actually, which was a I bet there's not Game enough. Gear game. So what is that? I bet there's not enough ZX Spectrum speedruns, is there? Because no. I bet they're all like Americans in their early twenties and stuff. I was to guess the sort of people who's in this sort of track. Uh, between twenty and yeah, forty, yeah. probably. Really? Um, there are some older guys there, um, and not a lot of Spectrum runs. I will, I will say. Ooh. And then again, how do you speedrun a Spectrum game? How do you speed run anything? You just do it quickly. Exactly. I suppose. But anyway, um, you know, the event's really cool. If you want to see some um, some games that maybe you've never seen before, you want to see some of your favourite games that have literally been obliterated and you had no idea they can even be played that way. Uh, if you want to see showcases of new indie games, um, they have a uh, schedule on their website, which you can go and have a look at. Um, yeah, and it's just a bit of fun, I suppose. and. At the end of the day, any money that goes to a charity is going to be good. You think? Well, the charities aren't awful. We think. Oh, well, I haven't done enough research, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Back to the research. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's an interesting course, and it's something to watch if you've got a week to spare. Okay. Um, I shan't be doing that, but I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the comment section if you like speed runs. If you think charities and philanthropy is an acceptable thing to do, and um, thirdly, um, if um, you like our skull as well, so 
So yes. Cheerio! Tweet me, give us some Patreon money. Hope so. We are a charity. We are a charity, yes. Cheerio again! I'd like to give a shout out to Michael Keneally as well as all of our other patrons. Thank you so much for your support. It helps us keep this channel going. And if anybody else would like to donate to this channel, we have a link in our description.